Alhaji Gali Umar Naaba was the Speaker of the House of Representatives between 1999 and 2003. The second person to occupy that position in the present political dispensation, he took over from Salih Su Buhari. Since leaving office in 2003, uh, Honorable Naaba has remained active in politics in his home state of Kano and indeed at the national level. In 2009, he was among former and current leaders who established the Coalition of Democrats for Electoral Reform Initiative in an attempt, among other things, to push through reforms to the 1999 Constitution. Alhaji Naaba joins us today on View from the Top, and I thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And I thank you for tuning in. Please stay with us. This is View from the Top. <clears throat> I am Modele Sharafa Yusuf. There's this uh, gale of inter-party defections sweeping the polity. About nine years ago, you and others like Aldo Ogbe, Abubakarimi, and uh, uh, the former vice president left the PDP and moved to the ACN, even though you later returned to the PDP. Tell me, was it, what is it that makes it easy for politicians to be able to move from one party to another? What, co what compels them sometimes and what makes it easy to do so? Uh, well, let me quickly... Uh, say that it was not quite easy for me to leave my party at the time I did. And uh, as you rightly said, when I left, uh, there were many top politicians who left the party along with me. And uh, that was because in the year 2005, the then president, in his bid to elongate his tenure in office, embarked on what they called a re-registration exercise in the party. And uh, the total sum of what they wanted to do then was to try as much as possible to have total control of the party so that they could do whatever they wanted to do with the party. And therefore, those of us who are seen uh, not to be supporting what the president wanted to do were marked out for uh, total elimination from the party or uh, dismissal from the party and uh, means had to be devised for us to either leave the party or be dismissed therefore when they came when the, it was turn, it, well, when it was time for the congresses in our states to take place they were specifically you know, the officials of the party were specifically asked not to have us registered, not to register us as members of the party. And uh, that was what they did. Uh, they refused to have us uh, get registered as members of the party. And uh, they went ahead to hold congresses without us and our supporters. We had the objective of uh, not going along with the party as far as that tenure elongation project was concerned. We thought we should opt out of the party and fight the scheme. And that was what we did. That was why we left the party. We did not leave the party because we wanted to leave the party were just shown the way out and uh, we accepted it and uh, of course in accepting it for me 
what I thought was that whatever party we established or formed then, you know, would be a truly democratic party where there is internal democracy and where uh, democratic practice, you know, would be the order of the day. And uh, unfortunately, that was what, that was not what I found. And uh, I decided to get back to my party, the PDP, uh, in 2007. Uh, that was just after the presidential election. I came back to PDP. Is there a likelihood from your experience, going by your experience, that those who have defected to the um, APC would be coming back to the party? It all depends on their objective. You see, there are people whose sole objective in politics is to acquire power. There are power politicians. And uh, there are developmental politicians. And uh, those whose sole objective is to acquire power, once the whatever party they move to, you know, provides them with, you know, the platform they require to acquire power, they will not be interested in going back to anywhere since their, whole, their, their, their sole objective uh, is not to democratize or, you know, to contribute towards to the development of democracy. Their objective is to acquire power. Therefore, all the platforms are the same as far as they are concerned. There are no differences in ideology? There are no differences in ideology. And that is why today, you know, when you, when you talk to a lot of politicians and a lot of people contesting for offices, if you ask them the manifesto of their parties or the program of their parties, they don't know because nobody asks them about those things. Nobody asks them. Nobody and asks. so they, don't, they haven't even articulated it. They don't articulate anything. So that is the, the problem we are facing. So what does that say about those of us who are electing such people into office? Well... Uh, a lot of people don't even go out and elect anybody. You know, people are no longer elected on the basis of any program they present to the people. People are elected, you know, through other means. Such as? Well, you'll find out that uh, because of the fact that there hasn't been internal democracy within the parties. You know, godfathers, you know, play a large role in having people elected into the office. You know, at the root of what is going on in this country about the quality of leadership, you know, is the lack of internal democracy. Because it is only when there is internal democracy that people, you know, are provided with choice to choose the best among the candidates who are presenting themselves for election. As a first step? As a first step. And uh, that is primary. And uh, in the absence of that, since a situation has arisen where uh, only a governor's determine who becomes what. You find out that uh, most people who are today elected into office are elected at the discretion of their governors. So it is, uh, the holy books are right then that the people deserve the leaders that they get? Yes. You know, politics is about input and output. You know, if the input is garbage, the output will be garbage. So that is what we are having today, unfortunately. And uh, that is what we need to correct. We must correct this, whether we like it or not. 
What does the new PDP chairman have to do to restore intra-party unity? You know, this country is very, very easy to manage. So far, we do what we are supposed to do. If we don't do what we are supposed to do, and we always want to do what our hearts desire, you know, to the detriment of the generality of the people, of course, we will find out that we cannot move forward. But once you carry people along, wherever they come from, you know, you are transparent, you carry them along, they will cooperate with you and uh, they will follow your lead wherever you come from. Still talking about leadership of the national uh, of the House of Representatives, how would you rate uh, the current occupants of the seats that you occupied, uh, Speaker Aminu Tambuel? Well, I believe that uh, the Speaker is doing very, very well. And uh, given the circumstance in which he found himself, uh, uh, he is doing his best. Uh, the House of Representatives of the current House of Representatives cannot be compared, you know, with the House of Representatives of 1999 to 2003. Because, you know, that time, members came almost on their own. So they didn't need anybody to direct them on whatever. This was why the House, you know, was quite independent. So independent. Yes. Uh, after 2003, when the potential of the potential for the House to do a lot of things was realized by the executive arm, uh, it was silently decided that that independence should never be allowed within the legislature, that degree of independence. So the next occupants, or the next uh, occupants of the seats in the House and the Senate were mostly handpicked by the party or the president because a particular social order was to be imposed on Nigerians a particular social and political order. And that was why you find out that between 2004 up to the time the tenure elongation project was killed, majority of the legislators, sorry, the majority of the legislators were supporting the tenure elongation program because they were recruited into the system for that purpose. After 2003, the legislature was whittled down. 